Okay. Okay, you guys. Now we're going to start reviewing chemical bonding. So if you take out this sunflower sheet right here, you can look at all the standards we're going to be doing. Okay? Chemical bonding. Standard 2A says atoms combine to form molecules by sharing electrons to form covalent or metallic bonds or by exchanging electrons to form ionic bonds. Okay, so let's do a review of the three types of chemical bonds. Ready? Number one, metallic. The key word for metallic bonding is mobile electrons. Metals form crystals that allow the movement of valence electrons between atoms. The electrons are mobile. Okay, do you remember that they said, like, let's give an example, calcium metal. Calcium metal is actually made up of a whole bunch of calcium 2 plus ions with mobile electrons moving between the atoms. They call it the sea of mobile electrons. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. The reason why metals are the only solids that conduct an electric current is because they have mobile electrons. Okay, now let's go to the second kind of chemical bond. The second kind of chemical bond is ionic bonding. The key word for ionic bonding is transfer. In an ionic bond, electrons are transferred from one element to another. To see if something is ionic or not, you have to look at the electronegativity tables. So let's do an example. Let's do sodium chloride. So take out your reference tables and turn to the table in the back where we find the electronegativities. So we go to table S and we look up sodium. Sodium has an electronegativity of 0.9. Chlorine is 3.2. When you subtract 0.9 from 3.2, you get a difference of 2.3. If the electronegativity difference is greater than 1.6, it is ionic bonding. If the electronegativity difference is greater than 1.6, it is ionic bonding. Now, to, to determine who's going to lose the electron, who's going to gain the electron, the one with the higher electronegativity always gains the electron. Okay? So now, we're going to go to our reference tables, and we're going to look up valence electrons. Sodium, a group 1 metal, an alkali metal, has one valence electron. So let's do it. Sodium has one valence electron. Chlorine is a halogen. Chlorine has seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we know that all atoms want to have eight valence electrons, and that's why they form chemical bonds. So sodium is going to transfer its valence electron to, so, uh, to chlorine. Now remember, look at this, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. When sodium loses its one valence electron and becomes the sodium ion, look at how many valence electrons it thinks it has, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. There's the sodium with a plus one charge. Where did that valence electron go? It went to the chlorine. So now chlorine looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, and we put this guy in brackets and we put the charge outside of it. Ionic compounds are never called molecules. They're never called molecules. Ionic substances 
are salts. The general term for an ionic substance is a salt. Now, ionic substances are hard, they have high melting points, they're soluble in water, they conduct electricity when dissolved in water, or when they're melted. Okay? Remember, we never call these things molecules. That's reserved for the last type of chemical bond, which is covalent bonding. Covalent bonding is the sharing of valence electrons. The sharing, the key word for covalent is sharing. This is when the electronegativity difference is less than 1.7. Okay, so let's do an example. Let's do HCl. Okay, again, we look up the electronegativity of hydrogen. Hydrogen is 2.1, chlorine is 3.2. When I subtract 2.1 from 3.2, I get 1.1. This is a covalent bond. Covalent bonding. Now when you do covalent bonding, there's never the formation of ions. Never the formation of ions. Okay? So let's draw the Lewis structure for HCl. Hydrogen has one valence electron. Chlorine has one valence electron. And look at what we're going to be left with. Okay? How many valence electrons does chlorine think it has around it? It thinks it has two, four, six, eight. It's happy. It has eight valence electrons. Everyone wants to look like a noble gas. But now look at hydrogen. Hydrogen thinks it has two. So hydrogen, though it doesn't have eight, it thinks it's like helium that has a complete first energy level. Okay? Now, covalent substances are called molecular substances. The electrons are shared. They're covalent. These guys are soft. Good insulators. Low melting points. Non-conductors. The end.